want to just do a quick recording for a buddy of mine that plays Doom. I was telling him about the triple barrel Gatling gun. And so I wanted to show that off to him a little bit. And what we're going to do is go ahead and scroll around to that now, which is this one here. And of course, if you've gotten this far to upgrading, you realize you've got two modes, which is the auto roll, so that you're already rolling, all you gotta do is start firing. And then if you put on the second mod, this is what's known as the turret mod, which has turned you into a triple barrel Gatling gun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and show this off. And as you can see, there's a couple of guys down here, so. And if you notice, this thing is pretty badass, but it overheats pretty quickly. That's what that ring is around the reticle. Once you get to a certain point, it'll overheat and you'll have to stop. But there isn't a whole lot that can stand up to this thing once you really start ripping loose with it. Now, let's see. I don't know if there's any rounds down here before I jump into this hole. It's mostly a shotgun, shotgun course in this particular layout. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and switch to my preferred weapon if we're going to head down in there. Okay, I think I've got the explosive tip. So we're going to go ahead and head down in there and we're going to see if we can get some more rounds for that thing. Super there. But as you can see, that that Gatling gun is pretty mean. I mean, it works great for the beholders that you run into in some of these maps.
but all right that's pretty much all I wanted to show off is that mod it gives you an idea of what it's like and how it's set up and everything it's got a really nice rate of fire works great for in-game bosses and bosses in general of the different areas um, one of my other favorite weapons is this one here the Gauss cannon because right now I've got it set up for charge mode and then you've got the other option which you set it up this way and it turns it into a basically a mobile turret so you can use it while you're moving or you can get a charge shot out of it uh, this mod actually does a focus burst like a sniper rifle so it's a rather great mod and it actually does pretty good damage um, uh, let's see in this one of course you can recognize the BFG if you haven't gotten as far as getting this yet it is definitely worth it so this is definitely an in-game weapon uh, you don't get the three shots with it it's really hard to recharge so I use it sparingly um, most of the time if I get backed up or I've got a lot of the uh, I think it's the Hell Knights or whatever they are is usually when I break this out. But otherwise I usually stick with the old standby of the shotgun, preferably with the explosive mod on it like I've got it. Um, the triple shot mod I really don't get into too much, it's just too slow in my opinion. The only other weapon I might use is the heavy assault rifle with the first shot. That usually comes in handy. Sometimes I use the scope mod for looking around and checking places out. But different mods, different things. And of course it really depends on what you're really looking for. And like I said, I've got a bunch of the different mods unlocked. Um, it really just depends on which weapon you prefer and what you like um, so yeah this is the uh, mod that I was talking about the mobile turret I'm still working on the mastery for it and I'm still working on the mastery for the rotator I haven't even started on it so once you get these unlocked it actually unlocks some really nice thing so this is basically going to be nice when you get the ultimate cooling so that'll be you can fire it just as long as you want to fire it that'll be really nice um, these are the two I'm working on is siege mode um, as you can see I've killed a couple of hell knights with this one so this one takes a little bit of time a little bit of work but each one's got different things um, Praetor suit mods, I only need a couple more points to unlock this one and then the suit will be completely upgraded. And then I got a few rune challenges I'm working on. I've got to uh, go unlock a few runes. I've been bypassing those. But as you can see, I wish you luck and hopefully you can get caught up to me, man.